Believe the experienced, you will find more in forests than in books. The stone and the wood will teach you what you won't hear from your teacher. St. Bernardus, Epist 106 A contemplation by St. Bernardus on the cascade of a forest brook, recorded in a fresco in his chapel in the Placey Monastery. The Bohemia Rosa project was started in about 1992 when different processes in my life started to interconnect. Perhaps the most important impulse is my own long-lasting connection to the Czech landscape, especially here at this place at the top of the Bean Hill near Ichim. This is a very historical place which has been admired also by Czech Romantic artists like the poet Karol Hinekmacher. From the top of this hill it is possible to see the whole surrounding landscape called Český raj or Bohemian Paradise. My own work developed here practically from childhood, collecting pigments, walking around, drawing and observing the environment. From the beginning of the 90s, when I started to teach at the Academy of Fine Arts in Prague, the impulses of this place and my new role as a teacher developed into numerous projects and workshops. In 1990 and 91, I worked together with my students on an ecological project for the El River with the Harrisons, and late in 1992, this experience transformed into a cooperation between the Academy of Fine Arts in Prague and the European Association for Architecture and Education. The project set out to compare the historic quality of our landscape, landscapes and reflect upon and develop new methods for teaching art, how to define borders and how to find a new sensibility. In 1994, I met Frank van der Ven for the first time. Through his introduction to body weather, while we were walking together on the performance Best Data in the Archa Theatre in Prague, many different aspects of my work came together and connected. The idea of Bohemia Rosa became more and more concrete, like walking through the landscape. The first meeting and workshop was realized in 1995 in Pšeno in a Sandrock prehistoric landscape. From 1995 until 2003, Bohemia Rosa took place biannually and we worked in five different national reserves in the Czech Republic. They were all realized with an imaginary respect to Bohuslavo Balbino's map of the Czech lands which looks like a rose. It is from this picture that the title of this project, Bohemia Rosa Project, was derived. All the knowledge, visions, constructions are a dance. Rudolf von Leben 
from 1983 until 1992, I lived and worked in Japan, where I was part of Mintanaka's dance company Maijuku. It was on tour with them that I visited the Czech Republic for the first time in 1984. Performances took place at the junior club and they were illegal and underground. There were no flyers and all the advertising was done by word of mouth. After the performance, audiences waited for us to come out of the dressing room to talk about what they had seen. Czech artists were also eager to show us their own work. In 1985, in Japan, Min realized his long-held dream of starting a farm. And from then on, our dance training included working in the rice fields and taking care of animals and vegetables. Gradually, the landscape of the farm in Hakshu seeped into our bodies. Those first performances of Min and Majugu in the mid-80s in the Czech Republic and in Poland were organized by Andrzej Raab. After my return to Europe in 1993, Andrzej invited me to do a choreography for the newly opened Arca Theater in Prague. The performance was called Bez Data, after a poem of Boas Lavrenek. I worked with Katarina Bagatsaki, who was also part of Majugu, and with 10 Czech dancers whom we trained during several workshops prior to the start of the rehearsal process. It was during our work on Best Data that I met Milos Shane. He performed, he did the set design and contributed on many levels to the performance. We found a common interest in the relation of bodies and landscape and right after the Best Data performance we discussed about the outline and focus of the Bohemia Rosa project. We planned to visit different landscapes in different Czech protected areas during a five-year period, spiraling around Prague and culminating in the area called Bohemian Paradise. With Bohemia Rosa, we wanted to create a platform to deepen and intensify our knowledge about body and landscape, to research new connections between them and to elaborate an educational model for spreading this type of experience. From the outset, an important part was to be the addition of guest teachers, whose respective disciplines were to be brought in as an extra stimulus or mediator of the relation between body and landscape. During the 10 years of touring and performing with Min Tanaka and Maijuku, and living in Japan, I absorbed their philosophy and approach to movement and dance. Body weather as a training and methodology develops a conscious relation between spaces inside bodies and spaces outside bodies. In the dance I brought back with me from Japan was an intrinsic sensitivity and awareness to environment and landscape.
1997 we started in Plassey Monastery here. The walk took us a whole day and it led to Mariansky Tinec, then to Kralovice, and after that we walked through a very strange and complicated area of many meanders. The whole trip was about 45, maybe 50 kilometers long. The second walk was a very nice night walk when there was moon total eclipse. The third walk was from the monastery to Peklo Valley where we made some touch drawing. As preparation for the Bohemia Rosa in the Karst area, the year before, in 1998, we made a six-day hike through the area. During the fourth Bohemia Rosa, on the Wednesday 22nd of August 2001, we started out from Bechine Monastery, took the bus to Timna Vladvu, and walked along the riverbanks to the confluence of the Vladva and Lusnice rivers. We crossed many forests and in a straight line walked from the confluence to Zidova Gully. In and around Zidova Gully, we waded through many parts of the river and collected pigments and natural objects to be later used. The whole trip was about 25 kilometers. 2003, Bohemian Paradise. Zebin Hill, Yichin, Valish Hill, Lhota Pond, Saint Anne, Prachov Rocks, and Carl Sands. Věžice Pound and also Trusky. Dobšice, Viskeř, Hrubá skála, with a night trip. And then to Tabor Mountain, Zebín Hill and back to Ichi. To open ourselves to the deep look of stones, rocks, gorges and the eyes of rifts which call out our memories, having the shape of horses running through the gold and the azure of the grasses of night. To look through multiple eyes of the threads of roots, we the worms of the earthen skies. The white is on the surface dragging or glowing in the entrails in the arms and joints the capillarity of salts when the rain wets the sun to kiss my mandibles. To be a breeze does not mean to rot. Our claws know how to mould sounds and they murmur deeply through the sparkling of the stardust of an endless weight and lightness. The sap of mornings 
and the smell of that and now. The stones may come for us, and they may like us, and they will make their nests in our sap, or the night will flood us and we will run, resembling the silver mane deep into the light. The sensors we will hoist to our shells, and the moves will penetrate us with the first sniff. The sags of bridges, what will it be then in the crusts of scintillating rainbows? Through bending, we silently glow in the velvet black of the earthly clouds which draw the streams down there for the people. It is possible to offer yourself as a pool through the skeleton of the nerves in the leaves, not to ask any questions, but to tread in the footprints, we the valleys. Milosh Shane